my name is Tyler Smith. I'm VP of Sales Engineering. This is Nick Schroeder. He's our UC engineer. And we wanted to demonstrate, kind of in a live format, an SD-WAN experience. So what we've got going on is we've got two phones with active phone calls that are hosted VoIP phone calls. Um, we've got three internet connections that are being kind of bonded together and managed by an SD-WAN platform. So there's a 100 meg fiber connection, there's a coax connection, and there's a 4G backup connection. And so we're going to demonstrate what that looks like when it when outage occurs and what that happens from a voice quality perspective. So I'm going to hand it over to Nick. Awesome. Thanks, Tyler. So like you said, uh, we have our two phones set up here. They're on active uh, phone calls to the hosted UC providers. And up here, you can see our three different connections. So over here, we have Comcast cable. And then we have Central Utah Telephone, which is Centricom. That's our fiber, the 100 meg fiber. And then we have our Verizon Wireless, which is the LTE connection. So down here, I'm going to go ahead and start the music in here. Uh, we are using music because it makes it a lot easier to hear the transition when one of the WAN providers goes down. You can kind of hear that there's not, you know, there's not very, there's not even a blip. So, with that being said, let's come walk over here. All right. So up there, you can see that uh, Central Telecom is the connection it's using right now, which is what we would expect because it's the 100 meg fiber. So it's the SD WAN box is saying, yeah, I think this is the best connection for these phone calls right now. So I'm going to go ahead and, and unplug the uh, Centricom connection. Okay, you guys just heard a blip for just one second. This connection is going to go down, and you'll see in here. Okay, there it is. So Centricom is down now, and you can see that the SD WAN box is going to start to send those voice calls over one of the different connections. So in this case, it shows the Verizon wireless connection. As you can see there, it's going to start pumping data through there. So uh, I'm now going to move move it again over to the Comcast connection by taking down the uh, Verizon connection. So we're going to go ahead and pull the Verizon connection. Okay, so you just heard a blip again. Verizon just went down. And now on the screen, you can see that the Comcast is starting to pick up there. So when we think about what just happened, right? we had an active phone call, two active phone calls that are on a host of WIP provider. We didn't drop the phone call, but we had a small blip in the audio. And so comparing that to a traditional format, where I ha maybe I have a load balancing firewall or I have redundancy built into my network, what we would have experienced is these phones would have gone down. The phone call would have dropped, the phones would have re-registered, and we would have had a very quick transition from one provider to the other, but at the end of the day, we were kind of restarting our environment. But what SD-WAN is doing, because it's priority traffic, it's making that transition occur completely seamless. So from an end user's perspective, if they were on a phone call with a, conf you know, a conference call that's an important phone call of any kind, they wouldn't have even skipped a beat. They really wouldn't have perceived that issue. And the outage right, that would have caused the, the lost productivity and the challenge of them having to re-register and all the other things that come back around when we talk about that, SD-WAN smoothed all of that out and had that transition kind of basically on a, on a flawless basis. So um, just a brief example of one aspect of what SD-WAN can bring to the table. And we really appreciate you guys taking a look at this video.